What is happening YouTube and Weight Loss Warriors? It's your boy C Dub and I'm back with another video. Guys, today I'm going to give you the top 10 reasons why you should do OMAD and I'm going to do it right after this. Hey guys, what's going on? If it's your first time on the channel, my name is C-Dub and I lost 125 pounds eating one meal a day. And for those of you that know who I am and have been to my channel and are already weight loss warriors, I just want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for the love and support. Thanks for returning to my channel. Alright guys, I'm going to hop right into the top 10 reasons why OMAD should be tried by you, top 10 benefits, whatever you want to call it guys. Alright, my first benefit, benefit number one, is it is easy to understand you're literally eating one meal a day it's that basic and that simple it doesn't have to be more complicated than that it doesn't have to be thought about more than that it's a really easy concept to think of it's a really easy concept to understand so as long as you're doing that eating one time you're good to go just make sure you're not taking any calories before or after you know sticking to zero calorie drinks and water sticking to not putting you know extra things into your food and, and staying conscious that things like bubble gum and, and whatever else could potentially give you some extra calories you weren't even thinking of and break your fast other than that it's really simple to think I'm just going to eat one time a day and that's it reason number two guys less planning if you think about how much what you have to do for breakfast what you have to do for lunch what you have to do for dinner every single day sometimes you're thinking about snacks in between because you're going on an outing and you don't want to be without food all day and so it's always planning everything in your life around food we're going here we've got to do this and then we stop here and get food and then we do this and then we stop here and get some more food and that's just the way we are and without doing two of those meals and the snacking in between the planning for you it's so much less which saves you time it saves you energy it really is I can't even tell you how much uh, of a mental drain you realize planning food is until you stop planning food reason number three guys the reason number three is an interesting one for me and it is understanding what hunger really is because I always thought I was hungry before I would walk around I'd be like man I'm hungry I'd be sitting around I'd be like you know what right now man I'm hungry and I would go grab something to eat and, I, and, and now looking back on it I realized I wasn't hungry I was bored and I can't tell you how much I ate out of just pure boredom and so I, I had no real concept of what hunger was until I spent a couple of times fasting for 72 hours for doing different things for skipping a meal once a week and really starting to understand that we're not really that hungry once you can get your mind moving and once you can get off of the fact that food is there as a crutch to do something then the hunger dissipates and you start to realize that you haven't even really experienced hunger in your life and so I think it gave me a better understanding of hunger reason number four guys man is this a good reason this reason is the reason why I, I think I have a YouTube channel and it's really you have more time and so I thought when I was eating three meals a day that I was so busy I couldn't think of when, when do I go to the gym how can I work out how do I have time for anything other than work and family and coaching and I was like man you, you know there's just not enough hours in the day but then when I started doing OMAD all of a sudden I freed up a minimum of two hours a day and you may think that's a joke but when you think about the preparing the food the eating of the food and the breaking down of food two hours a day is actually a low estimate I might have gotten more time than that I've replaced it with walking I've replaced it with YouTube and I still have extra free time that I never had before when I was eating all the time so the number four reasons are really strong one. but I'm not even sure it's as good as number five number five man it's saving money who doesn't want to save money guys let me tell you what I just watched a video a couple of days ago by Reg edited and she broke down how much money she saved doing one meal a day it is amazing guys I highly recommend it I'm gonna put the link down below when you get done with this video go check hers out because she shows you a breakdown of how much money she saved in a year doing OMAD and I want to do a similar video but I'll wait for some time and let her video you know mature because she just did an amazing job but it inspired me to want to do the same because I know that I'm eating one-third of the amount of food that I ate and my wife is too 
and the amount of savings and money that comes back into our house because we're only eating one time a day is just a, a, a huge amount of money. Number six, guys, OMAD's flexibility, guys. I cannot tell you how amazing flexibility of OMAD is. And what I mean by that is we say, you know, you got to eat in a certain window to do OMAD. Well, that's true, but not true. I think you should be as consistent as possible and you should try to always do eat in your window as much as you possibly can. But Saturday comes around, your friends are getting married, they're having their wedding reception at noon, your window is at 5, what do you not eat? Of course you eat. You just go eat your one meal there at noon and you move on the next day, you eat at your regular time at 5 and you get an extended fast the next day. You get a few more extra hours. So that works in any way and another example is the Christmas breakfast that we have every year at my job um, you know breakfast is not in my window especially like an eight o'clock in the morning breakfast oh my lord you know um, I'm not supposed to eat till five o'clock at night so I ate at five o'clock the night before I got up at eight in the morning I ate breakfast I did not eat again till five o'clock the next day so I got a super nice long fast in there and I didn't feel bad I didn't feel guilty and I also felt like I didn't let my coworkers down. I socialized with them and did what I felt was the right thing to do that day. Plus, it was a really delicious breakfast. So as long as you're sticking to one meal a day, it doesn't really matter if the meal's at 8 in the morning and the meal's at 5 o'clock. And although I don't recommend changing it up every single day, doing breakfast, then lunch, then breakfast, then dinner, then dinner, then, you know, to where you, you, you're confusing your body and it doesn't know really what's going on, I do think it's flexible enough to fit into any event you have going on that week. All right, reason number seven, guys. Reason number seven. OMAD can be done with any diet in the world. And that is just an amazing concept to me, too. As I'm sitting here talking to you guys, you're OMADers from all over the world with all different ideas. And the bottom line is some of you guys are doing keto. Some of you guys are doing carnivore. Some of you guys are just eating whatever they want to eat. Some of you guys are doing something like an Atkins type. Some of you guys are hitting up some, some all kinds of uh, vegan, um, you know, South, uh, South Beach. Uh, you know, the, the list of diets it just goes on and on and on and on and on. And it's endless. And they can all be done one meal a day. Every single one of them. And so no matter which diet style you're in, you're able to pair it with one meal a day to make something even more powerful out of your diet. So I think that being able to do that is amazing, but also being able to not do any diet is also super powerful. That's what I do, but to each is its own, and I think the ability to be able to compare it with whatever eating style you want makes it a super special plan. Reason number nine, guys. When you're doing OMAD, you're almost guaranteed to get in fat burning mode. You know, I know a lot of people will throw ketosis as the only way that you're in fat burning mode. But I'm going to tell you now, the average person stores about 8 hours of glycogen in their system whenever they eat. So if you're eating at 5 o'clock at night, you've got 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Uh, 13, what am I talking about? 12, 1 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> so 1 o'clock in the morning, you've now run out of glycogen for your body in the middle of your sleep. So it, just by doing that, now from the middle of the night until the next time you eat, your body has to start running on something other than the, the glucose that's in their system. So your body will start to pick and start running on that fat burning mode. And some of us will run all the way into ketosis every day. I know when I test, I generally am in ketosis before I'm eating again within that 24 hour period. And I know a lot of people eat a little lighter on the carbs at dinner. They may not be low carb and they may not be no carb, but they're, they, they, they understand they're not going too crazy with them and they end up in ketosis every day. So there's different methods and different theories on that. But the bottom line is you're only putting but so much sugar in your body if you're eating once a day. So you're almost guaranteed to break into fat burning mode at some point the next day. And that makes it reason number nine, which is powerful to live in that fat burning mode. All right, reason number 10, guys. And reason number 10 is, for me personally, the reason why I think OMAD was what worked when nothing else did. When I was young, I was big and, and I couldn't figure it out. And no matter what diet plan or no matter what eating style I tried to do, I could never get it to work right. I could never fit it into my life. And the reason is because I enjoy food and I was I felt restricted and I, I just can't stand when somebody tells me you can't eat this and almost every diet in the world does that you know 
So what is number 10? It's because you can do whatever. You can eat however you want to eat. And guys, the more I've done OMAD, the healthier I eat, which is strange. But when I first started, I, I, I was just excited to eat and I ate whatever bad food I could get my hands on. And, um, you know, I can remember eating bags of chips right with my window up and grabbing them and just start eating chips, eating chips, eating chips. Because I waited all day and I restricted myself and wham, boo is me, you know. But over the course of 13 months later, I don't even touch the chips anymore. And I'm staying to more whole foods and I'm eating more, you know, natural things. And I went from never caring about what an organic egg was to eating organic eggs and eating grass-fed beef and doing some of the things that I never thought I would do. And I'm not saying you have to eat grass-fed beef or organic eggs. They're all expensive and you can, you can lose weight not doing any of that stuff, guys. But the bottom line is, is I became healthier because over the course of time, I broke the stranglehold that food had on me. But it started not because I restricted anything. It started because I ate one time a day. And because I ate one time a day, I could do whatever I wanted to. And after a while, I just stopped wanting to. And so things started to adjust in my life and the way that I ate. But it didn't start there. It started just embracing it and sitting down and eating. And so when I watch a new person breaking out on their journey, sometimes, and, I, and I, they'll say, well, I had my one meal today. And I you know, went by McDonald's. And I, I start reaching for my hair to pull it out. I'm like, why are you wasting your one meal at McDonald's and then I started thinking well hey first they ate one meal they're moving in the right direction once they get used to it they're gonna start realizing that McDonald's doesn't make them feel as good as other things do and they'll start to get that pushed aside and they'll start to make adjustments but it's not me to force the adjustments on them just like nobody could have ever forced it on me it develops over time but OMAD allows you to still lose weight and make poor decisions and I know that sounds crazy or that sounds backwards but those poor decisions will subside over the course of time I personally believe and I personally believe the weight comes off either way as long as you're not just totally destroying a million calories so guys I've given you 10 reasons why OMAD changed my life and benefits that I've had and that you're gonna face too I hope you enjoyed it guys my face is popping up it's right about here Go ahead and click on that bad boy and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Hit these other videos on my channel and understand that OMAD has many benefits and it can fit into your lifestyle no matter what it is you want to do. And that's why I love it and that's why I'm an OMAD for life. Peace.